Johnny be good here. You're on YouTube, by the way. Do you mind? Oh, I don't mind at all. Okay. So, Emory Payne, where are you from? I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay. Oh. So, and, uh, say hello to YouTube, by the way. Hello, YouTube. So, you've been, I watch uh, your, uh, you've been I a watch truck driver? Daily. Oh, thank you. Oh, so you've been the truck driver before, or? Yeah, um, I drove for about a year, and then I quit because I found a uh, factory job at home. Okay. And and I just actually quit my job the day before Christmas Eve. This year? Yeah, uh, 2014. Yeah. Oh, 2000. Okay. And um, looking back, looking to go back on to truck driving. So how long have you been off the road? Um, it would be two years. So I know I would have to go back to training and do all the experience again. Gotcha. How old are you, Emery? I'm actually 23 years old. 23? Pretty young. I, I, I feel like that. I work around, you know, people in their 60s, so I... Now, what makes you want to go back on the road? Is that the end? Um, well, I was I was living with my parents, and that was the biggest issue with, you know, fam I wanted to spend time more with family and everything. And that's why I got off the road in the first place. And so, then when I, you know, working through the factory, I actually moved out on my own. So, you know, I'm just with my two dogs. Okay. And, you know, I just miss the freedom of being on the road, you know, having your, you know, your boss on the computer. You can call your boss. You don't have to have your boss looking over your shoulder. Gotcha. Well, I do know about the camera, that the mobile eye. Yeah. They made the and, drive cam. Uh, you did, you did, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, Emery, you know, there's... There's always problems in every job. You're just, basically, you're just trading one job for, I mean, one problem for another job, problem, right? I mean, oh, yeah. You know, so, it just depends yeah. on, it just all depends on what kind of problem you can live with, I guess. Oh, yes, and it, it was very weird going from, you know, being by myself with, you know, just a dog to having over 300 coworkers standing next to you. Yeah. So what exactly do you do for a living right now? I mean, what kind of factory is it? Well, I'm actually unemployed right now. I, you know, I told you I quit my job. But I work uh, for Gilbarco Vitaru, basically the uh, diesel pumps and the gas pumps at the gas stations and truck stops I've actually built. Oh, oh okay. So if it's broken, I did not build that one. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so when I watch your videos and like you're having a problem with the uh, fuel pump, I just want to come through the video and go, oh, this is the problem right here, and this is what needs to be fixed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now, what are you gonna do with your dogs once uh, you start the whole process? Well. I was trying to look for a pet-friendly company, um, but I understand I have, you know, parents that will take one of my dogs, and then I have a friend that will take the other dog while I'm training. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to take you at least six months or so to be away from, oh, yeah. you know, from being solo at least. So. Yeah, well, when I drove for that year, I was out actually for around eight months. I was at home once. Okay. And I was with uh, trading from two different companies and training with those two different companies. Okay. And um, so I understand, you know, being away from home, I actually, I don't actually, uh, I live at my parents' house while they're selling the house, too. I see. 
So, yeah, you know, I'm about to be, you know, moving out, and, you know, I don't have a job right now, so it's kind of like, you know what, I, I loved truck driving when I did it, and the only reason I did, so I can be close to the family, but they moved away, so I'm going to go back and do something I really enjoy. Gotcha. No, are you, are you a, uh, are you a native of uh, North Carolina? I've actually lived in the same house for the whole 23 years I've lived. Okay. So I've never moved unless I moved into the truck when I did that year. I see. So tell us about yourself. I mean, you know, any brothers, sisters? Uh... I have uh, two sisters and a brother-in-law. That you and your brother-in-law get along better than your sister? <laughs> yeah, um, he's a real nice guy. He actually is from uh, Syria. Syria, okay. And, um, yeah, um, one of the sisters is, a, I'm, the, I'm the youngest. The middle sister is, uh, she's a flight attendant for Southwest. Uh huh. And she li she's based out of Chicago. And then the other one, the oldest that's married, she's a teacher here in North Carolina. Okay. And um, I'm trying to figure out what else to say. <laughs> um, uh, where where did you go truck driving school at? I went to a school in Asheboro, North Carolina, called Future Truckers of America. How long of a course and was that? It was a four week uh, class. The first week was all in like the classroom, learning you know to get our permits and everything. Yeah. And then the second week was all backing maneuvers. Uh huh. And the third week was uh, they called it observation, where we sat in the sleeper and watched the driver and the teacher. I see. And then, and then the fourth week, you actually drove. Now, how how much does that cost now? Well, when I went through, and that was about in 2012 in October, it was about three thousand, and I did all that out of pocket. And is that somewhere near your home, or? Um, it's about thirty minutes from my house. So you actually went home every day then? You didn't grab a motel like, like I did? I'm getting a lot of static from you. Oh, I, um, when I went to truck driving school, I, I had to go to a motel, part of the, the, the school tuition. Well, I, I think I, I kind of hear you kind of going in and out, but I think I kind of got what you said. Um, I actually just drove daily to the school yeah every morning yep yep and um you know it was, it was a little bit pricey in gas but i have a small little pickup truck so it's not that much which probably comes out cheaper than grabbing a motel as part of your tuition yeah well a lot of the people at my school were with uh, PAM, PAM Transport, okay. yep. and they hooked, they paid for the school lane, and then they paid for the hotel room across the street. Um, the only thing that I didn't like about that was you were under a contract with PAM. You had to drive for them for a certain amount of time, or you would have to pay you know them back. Okay. And so I kind of like the freedom of like, oh, okay, I could go to this company or I could go to this company. So I chose that uh, payout pocket. I see. Now, who's the first company you ever worked for? What'd you say? What was the first company, uh, trucking company you worked for? Well, the, uh, what company I worked for? Yeah. I worked for uh, U.S. Express out of uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. For how long? And then um, I worked for them about, 
was about six months. And then I went over to Warner Enterprises and did another six or seven months with them. Now, which one of the two companies and did you like better? Did I make good money there? Which which of the um, company? Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, I I can, I can hear you. Uh, barely hear you. Yeah, I'm, I'm breaking up with Sprint here, so, yeah. Well, um, yeah, I can, yeah, kind of going in and out, kind of stuttering, a little, or the uh, phone service is kind of going in and out. Okay. How's that now? Yeah, perfect. Uh, all right. Um, so what you asked again? So which, which of the two companies did you like better, U.S. Express or Warner? I, I enjoyed Warner a little bit more just because with Warner, um, I don't know how well it is, but with Warner, you get to route yourself. With U.S. Express, they give you, you need to take this road to this road to this road to this road. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so I enjoyed, you know, the freedom of like, oh, okay, well, you know, I heard 6-4, you know, Highway 40, you know, block, I need, you know, I could take, you know, a different route to go around the blockage without being charged for out-of-route miles. Yeah, that, that can be a problem if they charge you out-of-route. Yeah, well, well, companies, yeah. we don't, we don't have designated route. We they just want us to take the most direct, efficient route, you know? The most direct ma uh, miles. Yeah, direct miles. Um, the only thing that they ask us not to do is the, uh, they tell us not to take the uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike without uh, permission because it's way okay. too expensive. Huh. Yeah, from, for example, from Ohio all the way to, like, um, uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, you could take okay. the Pennsylvania Turnpike and, man, that's really expensive. Huh. You know, you could, you could take Interstate 80 to 476. Yeah. It's a little bit, a, a little bit farther, but not a whole lot farther, you know. And it comes out too okay. now, so... But yeah, um... Yeah, I've been up... I've been up there and I've been... You know, I've done... I did 48 states. When I drove. Okay. So you... You started trucking when you were, what, 21? Uh oh I think we're losing... Hello? Hello? Uh oh. I think we just lost. There you go. There you go. Emery? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I lost. This call I failed. So what uh, at what age did you start actually driving drugs? Uh, 21 then? Yeah, I started actually I got my license on my 21st birthday. Gotcha. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And um yeah, like I told you, actually I got a uh I miss it, you know, a lot. And I actually uh I wish I could show you right now. I actually have a truck. My actually the first solo truck I ever had tattooed on my arm. I see. Uh, so no accidents, no DUIs. Um, no. The uh, only thing was was a uh, speed ticket, and it was in my four wheeler. Okay. Well, you know, well, and, uh, well, company is a pet friendly company. Okay. So. Well, they um. I got it marked down. The funny thing is, and you get a good laugh out of this, it got marked down to a uh, improper equipment violation, and I looked to with an outer helmet, and I'm in a car. Really? 
Yeah, and I asked the lawyer, I said, what's going on? I'm not driving a motorcycle. How do I have a helmet violation in a car? I just thought I'd probably try to give you a break. See yeah, you. I thought so too, and I think it's, you know, a pretty cool story. It's like, yeah, maybe I drove too fast and he thinks I need a helmet. <laughs> No, he he's probably saw that you have a CDL, and I've heard yeah. recently that most cops out there now are pretty sympathetic when they, you have a when yeah, you have well, a CDL. Yeah, well, you know, a CDL is, you know, someone's lost. Yeah. Emery, somebody's calling me. Can I call you back a little bit later? Uh, sure. Um, I'm actually about to take my dogs to the park, so, um... I'll check you got I'll keep watching you on YouTube. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Emery. I right, have a good day and right. bye YouTube. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye bye. Right, bye. speaking with? Um, my name is Stratis. I'm calling you. I'm in Greece, Athens. You're in Greece. Hello. Hello. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. You're on YouTube, by the way. Thank you. Hello, YouTube. Hi. Happy New Year to everybody. So, uh... I saw, I saw your uh, message on Facebook. Uh, I didn't understand to whom you are uh, requesting to call you on Skype. Yes. Um, so I thought it would be fun. So tell tell everybody who you are, where you're from, and and whatever uh, you want to say. Uh, I am from Greece, Athens. Uh, I'm 48 years old. I'm single. I love traveling a lot. I have almost watched every video on your channel and YouTube. Really? Uh, uh, and uh, <laughs> as a pattern of speaking, I feel that I have already uh, traveled along the USA for, for many times, <laughs> sitting next to, next to your, that's your a lot of That's a lot of videos. A lot of videos, yeah, yeah. I have uh, quite uh, uh, free time to, to spend on YouTube uh, and uh, I prefer to, to watch your videos and uh, spend my time with, uh, with you. Yes, thank you. And so what is the weather like in, in Greece? It, <laughs> for the last three days, it is exactly the, the, the same as where you are now. Very cold, very snow. Oh, you get a lot uh, of snow there, okay. Yeah, we have uh, almost uh, one meter snow here in Athens. But oh. uh, it will uh, last until uh, Sunday, Monday. And we have very low temperatures here. No. Today is uh, uh, all day below zero Celsius. Now, uh, Greece is famous for a lot of foods, right? Famous for? For food. Uh, <laughs> good food. <laughs> have, you, have you tried Greek kitchen? I like, uh, I like, uh, uh, gyro, gyro, uh, food, gyro you know. meat, yeah. Souvlaki, Greek souvlaki. Yeah. We oh, call hold it on. Greek oh. souvlaki. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've Hold on. Hello, Glens? Uh, Glennis? Yeah. Yes. Um, call um. me, call me back in about five minutes. Somebody is on the other line. Okay, man. Okay. Bye-bye. Hello? Hello? Hello, John. Oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, somebody was I, calling I, me. I, 
I have seen you on uh, one of your videos at the truck stop that you have uh, uh, eaten in a gyro shop. Yes. I don't, rem I don't remember the name of the firm, but uh, I remember that. Yes, yes. Okay, so what what do you do? Are you a truck driver, a lawyer, doctor? No, no, no. no I'm an accountant in a company which uh, uh, makes and sells uh, software for uh, uh, small businesses with still computers. And uh, I am at the marketing department. Oh, okay. But I but have a lot of, uh, what can I say, uh, I like trucks, I like driving, and uh, I prefer to, if I can go out there and uh, have some days to, to make a trip, to watch videos on YouTube. I see. Boy, uh, can you... If you wanted to, can you come over to America, or is is the visa is, the visa I, is hard? I have I have a very good friend of mine living in uh, Michigan. Michigan. Okay. Yeah, uh, he has uh, invited me over uh, over a hundred times, but. It is very difficult for us uh, to get there and we have to spend a lot of vacation in the USA because the trip is very long yeah. and very expensive. What about the visa issue? Is That's not an issue or no. is it hard? No, we, have, don't, we don't have an issue if you're coming there for uh, tourist purposes and if you have someone to invite you there. There is no issue to get a visa for a month or two. I think it is uh, very easy to get one. So the the U.S. relationship to Greece is very good. Yeah, we don't have officially a problem. Okay. But uh, according to some terrorist uh, issues here in Greece and. Uh, because we have some problems with Turkey next to us. The uh, USA government tries to stay in the... Uh, but uh, we have uh, 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 sometimes we have a problem with the uh, USA government. Oh, but nice. at this moment, at this period, everything is okay. okay. So you spent your New Year's Day in, on the road, eh? Yeah, I, I spent uh, last night in uh, in a truck stop. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the bad, that's the bad uh, times of being a truck driver. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that's away. Yep, away from away the family, from the family, kids. Yeah. Sometimes it's a good but thing. Sometimes it's a good Sometimes. thing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope, Mama don't don't listen to this video. <laughs> oh, Mama says, "Whoo! Thank God he's gone." <laughs> <laughs> I think that that be, being still uh, uh, not married yet. Not married yet. Uh, in 48 years old and uh, uh, having a lot of my friends here who have married, have two or three children and get divorced after five, six years, I think I had made the better choice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I think it is as the the way of living, uh, financial problems, uh, problems with relationships between men and women. I think it's very easy today to get a divorce and people divorced for uh, uh, not very important things. So uh, be wearing of uh, 
getting involved in such difficult situations, I prefer to stay <laughs> and not mind. Yeah. Yeah, marriage is a uh, marriage is a very dangerous institution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, you you agree to give up everything. <laughs> you sign your paper, your life away, right? Except except if you have a, a job like yours, two days, five five days a month at home, and the rest on the road. Yeah, I am I am very 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 blessed. My wife is a very very good wife. Yeah, I see. And you have a very, 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 very good family over there. Yeah. The only problem, think, the only problem is, um, you know, the mentality in the house is, what's mine is theirs. What's theirs is theirs, not mine. All the all all the tampers is yours. I yeah, all tampers is not even mine. So. <laughs> but uh, you have, you have, you have to learn him not to be on you when you go back home. But I know, I know the way to tamper's heart. Give him lots of food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joy. Because I have to go now because I have to leave home. Okay. Uh, nice talking to you. Nice, nice talking meeting to you. you. Uh, Happy New Year. Keep, and the, keep the safe driving and I'll keep watching your videos here. Okay, send me some baklava. <laughs> oh, you know baklava. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Happy New Year, bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. Now, that was pretty cool. Mansfield is not answering right now. I hope I did not make him mad. Anyway, that was a beautiful conversation with uh, Stratis. Stratis Stub, Stub Rinos. I will label the video later so everybody can see who he is. So, alright, well, Welcome to St. Augusta, St. Cloud, Minnesota, everybody. Glad to be good here. Peace.